I'm Ivy, 13 years old, and this twat waffle is fatuous taffy. Some people have noticed, Mr. Taffy is back. He has made some new videos, and apparently bought an AliExpress Echo microphone. So he now sounds like an FM and radio pirate from the last century. But if that is how you, Mr. Taffy, like it, who am I to judge? Mr. Taffy, I have this message for you. You constantly are calling people cowards because they don't want to come with you on a debate using Skype. Be fair, you haven't given people much reason to trust you so perhaps that is understandable? Since no one wants to debate you because they have certain reasons, I came up with the following idea. I will debate you. However since I have a serious disability that prevents me from doing anything life I have the following proposal. We do a video debate. You can open with a video on your channel, with the argument of your choice. I will make a video answering you on that argument using parts of your video. Then you can do the same with my answer. This will be slow, but this way there can be no interruptions and that is the fairest possible. This is the Dullyat Expat Taffy. Dullyat is a hybrid of two words, dull, as in not shiny, and idiot, as in incredibly stupid. Therefore from now on, I will call him, the Dullyat Expat Taffy. Hello, I am Evie, and I have some history with expat Taffy. Most of that, I have learned that he has absolutely no manners. He also is a liar, a bully, and generally a very unpleasant person. So far I have been very polite and well-mannered to him, but all it has got me is that I am blocked from commenting on his video. He recently deleted his old channel, but has returned with a new one. The main difference is that he apparently bought an Echo Karaoke microphone with AliExpress, Perhaps he thinks that he will sound more intellectual this way? For the rest, he produces the same crap as always. Now for me, the gloves are off, so let me do the intro again. Meet Expat Taffy. Hi folks! This is the son of a bitch I am going to utterly destroy on his own level. He is an indescribable narcissistic piece of shit excuse for a human being. Taffy is so full of himself that he calls himself brilliant. But actually, I think he is a serious mistake in the gene pool to have such a tiny brain. His delusion of grandeur is very much a textbook example of the Dunning-Kruger effect. He is even taken as an example in the Encyclopedia Moronica as you can see here. To quote, a good example of this is Mr. William Swithin, calling himself the brilliant expat Taffy on YouTube. He is named in their paper as a good example of unskilled and unaware of it. How difficulties in recognizing one's own incompetence lead to inflated self-assessments. Now I will give you a few examples of his blatant lies. Hi there folks! Welcome to another video by the brilliant expat Taffy. Another video in my challenge. Apollo, were the photos taken on the moon? Again, as I can tell you time after time, 
So far, not one shill, not one Apollo believer have agreed to meet me face to face on Skype or Zoom and discuss the authenticity of the photos. This is a total and utter lie. There are many people who will accept a debate with Delhi at Expert Taffy. But first of all, he has blocked all the people from reaching him, including me. Second one, he wants a recorded debate on Skype, or Zoom, of what I am not even sure that he means what that is. This is an idiotic way of having a debate, recordings can be edited before publishing, that is why debates are always with an audience. Suppose Taffy edits the debate in his advantage before he will put it online? Then the other side publishes his recording Taffy will yell bloody murder that the other one has edited against him. This is how the Daliet expat Taffy works. Not even the one that you see in the bottom right hand corner of this title page. The idiot Brian Pop Robson that I've named Paul the Pratt or True ID you'll find in the free report. Well Taffy, because Brian Pop Robson, or Paul Patton to his friends, likes very much to tell you the truth and what a piece of garbage you are, I invited him life in the show to let the whole world know the truth, about a delusional Welsh man living in Thailand. Shit. Fucking buttons. Hi there, Paul Patton here, Brian Pop Robson, just to show that I'm not afraid to use my own name Taffy. Uh, in a reply to Ivy, Regarding your latest video, I just asked me to give a couple of thoughts. Anyway, your latest video, 19 minutes of lies about me. Fantastic rants, try. She shows you what a nutter you are. Lie number one, NASA Shields. There's no such thing, Tappy. No one gets paid for debunking idiots like you. Well, 200 views maximum on a freaking video and you think NASA are worried about you. What a moron you are. Crying to YouTube every single one of your videos. Um, no, Taffy, most of your videos are still up. There's only one or two that I've actually got, well, probably more than two, but uh, basically, your videos were reported for defaming me, accusing me of criminality, making a criminal complaint against me. Now, basically, if you want to do that, the way to go about it is to report me to the police because it's a lie. Hmm, using my name is what's frightening me. No, I'm Paul Patton, end of story. You're, you're talking nonsense, mate. Um, that I defame you every video I've made. I very rarely make videos about you anyway, Taffy. I mean, but where I have made videos about you, I've never defamed you. I've called you an idiot, a moron. Uh, lately, I've called you a weasel, um, Billy Nobles. That's an insult. It's not defamation, mate. Look up the, look up the term and look at the definition of it. Um, let's have a look. Yes, yeah, so all this business about recorded debates. If it's a recording, it's not a live debate. Contacting you on Skype or Zoom, as you have asked me to do, yeah, recording, you know, basically calling you on uh, Skype, John Arthur, 100 John Arthurs and no other information. Which one do I call? Great. Um, that's not a debate on Skype and Zoom where you have got editorial control and you can actually make a video from it and edit it. That's not a live debate at all. This is live. I'm talking to Ivy Live. Um, I won't use my, show my face or use my name. Here's my phone. Just, my name's Paul Patton. I don't mind. Um, let's have a look. This, as I say, this is live, so basically it goes out, warts and all. Um, oh yes, Taffy. It was your idea to have a live debate. No, Taffy, it was your idea to make videos and then me reply to those videos. I then called you out on this and said, no, if you want to do this, let's do this live, unedited and as a live stream, not as an edited debate, no way. 
So you're the liar, Taffy. Um, I never use my voice in my videos. Taffy, where there's no voice at all in my videos, no, I haven't used my, my voice, but most of my videos have narration, and the narration is me and has always been me. Oh, your little comment about ranting and spamming, you know, where you showed the comment by me where I accused you of spamming. You was spamming a thread, a comment thread. So basically, I put one comment and you put 20 odd replies underneath it insulting me. How's that a debate, Taffy? That's just spam, and I will call it out as spam. And you only do it when you make errors and you know you're in the wrong and you try to hide your mistakes. That's the only reason you do it. Next lie of yours, um, how can I have a debate if I'm at work? Taffy, there's such a thing as the weekend, it's the weekend now, this is how I'm doing this video. There is also evenings, I know it's a bit awkward for you with the time difference to use the evenings, but if you want to debate me at 12 o'clock, 2 o'clock, something like that on the weekend, absolutely fine and you know that's in your time period. Um, derogatory remarks. Taffy, in your videos you make nothing but derogatory remarks. In your latest video where you've had a go at me, you've spent 19 minutes ranting and raving about me. You know, so, you know, you're an absolute liar, sunshine. Blocking on your channel. You blocked me over five years ago, Taffy. And this is why I have a problem with you. All it was, you keep saying that I was swearing at you and things like that. It's absolute lies. What happened was, in the video, you showed a picture and you said, if you say that this picture was taken on the moon, I think you're an idiot and I'm not going to talk to you anymore and I'm going to block you. And that's exactly what you did. And I've got the actual proof of that because I've still got the comments saved. You haven't got it because you've deleted all your old videos and you've deleted all your comments from them because it knows that you know it makes you look like a complete idiot. Um, but that's basically it. Over to you, Ivy. Yes, here he is, folks. The computer hacking bunny, Brian Pop Robson. The Englishman who's scared of a Welshman. Now, folks, it was the stupid, idiotic comments from this Brian Pop Robson that first gave me the idea. The way to sort out this moron is a live debate, face to face. Really? Now you are lying again. You may think that you are safe now, because you cannot be quoted anymore from your own old videos, because you deleted your old channel. Well, I downloaded enough of that garbage to prove you are a pathetic, fucking sack of shit, by using your own recorded words against you. You the Deliot, expat Taffy, has refused so many people that asked you for a debate with that it becomes ridiculous, and as usual you come with the same horse shit story as an excuse. A debate with me. I've sussed a lot of them out. They don't want a debate. They just want to do a character bashing video. It's a response to a character bashing video. A character bashing video. He just wanted a character bashing video. In contrary to you who is constantly lying, I never lie. I was the second subscriber on your reborn channel and the first one you blocked. This shows a lot of your cowardly character. And when it comes to character bashing, this is exactly what I am doing with you, and everything that is needed to piss you off so you will start noticing me. Me, Ivy Shizuka Kunisida, the 14-year-old computer-generated imagery anime girl, that is going to destroy you and your insane evidence and ways of defaming your critics. Being a 14-year-old artificial anime girl, makes me immune to everything that you can throw at me and that must be pretty scary I guess. Perhaps that is why you blocked me so quickly? Now the last subject in this video. Your totally insane obsession with Photoshop. Let me use this fragment to illustrate what I mean. One, two, two, six, six, four. And as you can see, it's been Photoshopped. It is always your idiotic conclusion. You can see, it's been Photoshopped. No it isn't, you moron. What do you think? Just mail the paper photos to the internet? P.O. Box 113 in Silicon Valley. And there, pixies feed the pictures to the internet fairies that deliver it to your computer by magic. Right? Before a picture can be uploaded to the internet it needs to be scanned and digitized. 
In the early computer time this was a time-consuming process, and the files were enormous. Then the 19th of February 1990, Photoshop was released. It was originally created in 1988 by Thomas and John No. Since then, the software has become the industry standard not only in raster graphics editing, but in digital art as a whole. This software was so revolutionary that digitizing pictures could be scanned and enhanced and in matter of seconds digitally stored in the new, and small, JPEG, j format. That is what you see you idiot. It shows the day that the optical photos were digitized by the use of Photoshop version 3. That is all and you will find this in perhaps trillions of digitized archives, or do you think they are all photoshopped and tampered with? You fucking idiot, all the so-called photoshopped evidence you use is only tampered with by your deluded imagination. Chapter 2 We already had the A of this shitty AliExpress Echo microphone you use. I can do the B and C in one subject in this video. The B of blocking, and of bully no balls. And the C, of the coward you are to block everyone that criticizes your comments. You have blocked everybody that does not agree with your insane ideas about the lunar landings. And I guess that must be quite a lot. Then a few days ago I watched a video of Mr. Sensible about this idiot flurf, Adam, who calls himself Level Earth Observer. If you don't understand the context all the links to Mr. Sensible will be in the description box below. You shouldn't have to explain this, but I got called a liar, a cheat, a fraud, people double down on the lies and then misrepresenting my claims. Please show me Adam where, in my video, I called you a liar, a cheat, a fraud or misrepresented any claims. Actually, that's exactly what you have done because in your response video you were talking about the tower leaning but in the original video you weren't. As for cheating, how about the fact that you have me blocked so I can't respond to any of the comments on your channel? How about the fact you call me Captain Sensible and don't give a link to either my channel or the video so people would be looking for the wrong name? I'd call that dishonest, underhand, cheating, straw manning, being a general ass. It's leaning back slightly. I wonder why so it can take a weight better in front of it. It's from engineering purposes. Just like the bridge, just like the crane. We've destroyed Captain Sensible, the globe arguments regarding bridges, and the globe in general. Not difficult, another easy day. Smashing the pantomime that is the globe. Have a good one. Adam, this is the final time I'm going to explain this to you. I'm going to adjust this explanation to your level of dumb. Mr. Sensible flexing his fingers. Go watch the video on his channel and subscribe. The links are all down here, and also in the end credits. As stupid as Level Earth Observer is, his insults are very poor, I kinda like, Captain Sensible. The name shows authority. Your insults are much better, aren't they? I have some invented especially for you and even made up a new word, dulliet, not shiny plus idiot, in one word that fits you better than brilliant, which you are absolutely not. I also heard someone call you Billy, no balls. Blocking your critics is such a cowardly deed, that it really fits your real name. William, Billy no balls, Swithin. You must be really scared of me, a 14-year-old 2D anime girl, and you will probably want to call me fake and hiding behind a drawing. Being a VTuber does not make me fake, and my name is real also, if you have the guts find me on Twitter, or are you too stupid to know what that is? Or perhaps you are already banned there? That would not surprise me at all. You can find me, at IVQNisida, in Twitter, and even mail me. Ivy.QNisida at gmail.com and remember I will use anything you write against you. But if you write in a friendly tone, I will also mention that. I will not lie to make you look even worse than you already are. Hello, I am Ivy, and welcome to another edition. Here I will show you what a fraud, Apollo landing hoax believer, the so-called, brilliant expat Taffy really is. 
How he fabricates his own evidence and thinks, people are that dumb to fall for his utter crap. This time he pretends to debunk, QI, a BBC television show. QI, is a quite interesting quiz show in that correct answers are not necessarily the goal. But responding to presenter Sandy Toxvig's mostly obscure questions in a funny or interesting way, regardless of whether the response includes a right answer, is what scores points. Expat Taffy claims he has debunked the whole show. What he really tries to do, is using this BBC video to get, by spamming the comments section, people to watch the absurd videos he posts on his channel. Now folks, what this video is about is, a video I spotted on YouTube just a couple of weeks ago. A certain video that I was really surprised when I looked at the thumbnail page with this video. Here you are folks. Here's the title page for that video here. Q1, Q1 versus Moon Landing Conspiracy. Almost at the beginning, he already gets the things wrong, by calling the show, Q1, Q1. Now watch him discovering his mistake. This program, Q1 or QI, QI, let me say, I've never seen it before. It's something new to me. I did recognize one guy in the front, Stephen Fry. So I thought, hey, I've been away from the UK for 15 years now, residing quite happily in Thailand. Rumor has it that you visited on holiday where you abandoned your wife and kid or kids for a Thailand bride, and now even accuse your own son, who tried to call you on the phone, of being a NASA shill? And I've never ever botched, bothered to watch anything of UK TV at all. It was completely new to me. But, what I can tell you, when I first looked at this video through, I soon passed a comment on it, and that was, well, I've never seen such a load of crap in my life. I think you mean beside the utter load of crap that is your own YouTube channel, right? And I'm going to justify that comment here, where I debunk this Stephen Fry's uh, program and video. But first you need to change your shirt. Go on, I will wait. Now folks, following my comment put in that video, I've never seen so much crap in my life. I was immediately under attack from a certain supporter of that video. His ID was QED, all capital letters. And I'll show you some of the comments that this guy left me. Look at the first one coming up. Wait a minute, that is not a reply to your comment, that looked more like this. How many of you recognize this? This is a title page for my challenge. Dear God, no! A brilliant expat Taffy is willing to challenge any NASA shill, any Apollo believer, to a live open debate, face to face, not sock puppet to sock puppet, face to face, true ID to true ID, to an open live debate on Zoom. Oh no. Here we have that Zoom bullshit again. You cannot do a public debate on Zoom. It is possible in a private group of maximum 100 people, but not as a public debate. Do you even know what Zoom is, or did you just hear something? For a public debate you need a streaming service like, Restream, YouTube Live, Twitch, Facebook Live, LinkedIn Live, TikTok Live, and even Twitter. But these cannot be controlled and falsified by editing, so you will never use one of these. Am I right? To discuss the authenticity of the Apollo photos. Now, this QED, the first to attack me on that video, he must know about me, because he made this comment here. Definition of paradoia: The tendency to perceive a specific, often meaningful image in a random and or ambiguous visual pattern. In your case it is not pareidolia, with you, it is a delusion, seeing things that aren't there. Even wanting to see things that aren't there. We've got another Brian Pop Robson here. Every anomaly displayed in an Apollo photo according to NASA's shills is pareidolia. No let me speed up Taffy's self-aggrandizement or self-glorification, he really likes to hear himself talk and call himself brilliant, but in reality he is a bitter conceited old man. 
a few months ago I debunked all his bullshit and the complete Apollo landing hoax, to the origin in a 45 minutes video. I have always been polite to him, but things have changed. Taffy has absolutely no problem to character assassinate his critics, to dox his critics, and even try to get them in prison on false accusations. This poor excuse of a man, falsifies his evidence, claims that NASA and Northrop Aerospace has deleted pictures and videos, because he saw anomalies in it. He presented artwork as evidence, everything to get his delusion out. Okay, here we are at something that, perhaps has something to do with his debunking of the QI show. Now folks, as I just said, Sorry I was wrong, it is more of his verbal diarrhea. That moron, a NASA shell, a NASA nutcase. Oh, my, god, you fucking idiot, there are no NASA shells. They don't exist. Who tried to take on the brilliant expat Taffy? As I just told you, he deleted all his comments and he pissed off. He couldn't face up to the challenge. That sounds familiar, just like you blocked me because you are not up to the challenge of this 14 year old anime girl. You are just a chicken shit coward that blocks anyone who proves you are full of crap. What is it with you? Get on with it. Get on with it. Yes, get on with it. You can see they wouldn't have any chance against me in a live debate, could they? Of course, first we get the same old, chewed out, rock looks as a face argument. Here are some more, that also look like a face. But they are still rocks, you moron. One was, one was the idea that, that below the lunar module that landed, there, there was no crater or... Finally a subject from the QI show, and I bet Taffy comes up with the most stupid argument ever. NASA, who else, dug a hole under the lem. Never would it come to Taffy's dull mind that the landings were in different locations. One site would have a more rocky surface and the other was more dusty. By the way, I cut out most of Taffy's insane laughter, which is a lot. I don't think anyone will disagree with that. There was one time they put a crater underneath a limb, and that was Apollo 12. And you know what? They dug it out by hand. Here you are, Mr. Fry. Take a look at this. This is the Apollo 12 lander. And the astronaut you see here is supposed to be Alan Bean, just come out of the limb. And he's come down the ladder and stepped into the footpath. Here you are, Mr. Stephen Fry. Here's a cropping of the underside of that Apollo 12 lander, which was the same as the Apollo 11 and the, and the rest of them, actually. Look at the top left-hand corner, the arrow. I'm showing you there, there's a crater. Now, this is a photo I've had for many years, and I put there, it's dug out with a shovel. But I was wrong with that. It wasn't dug out with a shovel at all. I'll show you what it was dug out with. And if you look at the arrow on the right, it shows the damp soil, all in one small pile, just a foot away from the crater. A bloody rocket engine doesn't dump it in a small pile like that. It blows it for maybe miles. Stupid. And, of course you forget to mention, that the landing motor of the LEM is tiny compared to the Saturn V motors. Because the LEM only weighs a seventh of Earth gravity on the moon, a small rocket motor will do very well, and that makes a small crater in a dusty location. And you seem to think that moon regolith is weightless that it will just blow miles away. You really are delusional. So, uh, because uh, it was designed by, you know, human brains and geniuses, and not a lot of people sitting tapping away at the internet who've got to go up to work in the morning. Yes. Who do you trust here? We, we, yes. we are in trouble. Oops, oops! Hold it, hold it! Let's cut you something I gotta show you. Well, finally, a real comment on the content of the show. After this self-glorification bullshit, it is about time. That photo you just seen there now of that Apollo 11 lem. Let me show you what it looks like with my investigation into it. Okay, folks. Here's that lem here that Mr. Fry and his panel think is genuine on the moon. Let me just pick one of the points in this photo. I will take arrow 5. That is where Taffy claims there are no footprints leading to that boot. I happen to have the original and I found something peculiar that Taffy's so-called brilliant brain must have overlooked. First of all this photo is clear, and not the blurry shite that Taffy presents. This is already much better. 
Let me zoom in on that boot and there you will see two gray lines I have put there to mark the top of a tiny ledge that hide the half of the boot, the footprints, and also part of the ribbon hanging down on the right of the astronaut. Also on this incredibly high resolution picture you can see several ripples in the surface that account for all the missing shadows, Taffy points out in most of his pictures. He purposely blurs his pictures so these ledges and ripples become invisible. That is how the fraudulent expat twatty lies to his viewers. Well, look at this folks. This is supposed to be an Apollo 16 astronaut. I kind of agree with you in this one. This looks more like a high school prank than even an attempt to fake an Apollo picture. Just look at the ragtag backpack on this picture and compare it to a real space suit. If you see this as moon hoax fakery, you must be extremely stupid or extremely dishonest. I personally think both, and would add insane to it, to make it a nice trio. Do you really think that people will fall for this garbage? And this was an early, early one that had to get uh, corrected. What happened here was a cat, as you can see there, at the bottom arrow, walked onto the set. I take that back. You really are extremely stupid, dishonest, and totally insane. This is just an observation. Someone in mental health care would possible give it a different name, but we can be certain that there is something seriously wrong in your head. Hey, Mr. Frey, look at that. What have we got here? A piece of gold foil? Supposed to have fallen down from above? And instead of falling flat on the moon's surface, it's standing up? And look what we've got. Just when you think it cannot get worse, this happens. We've got a whistleblower's clue of a face on it. Two white eyeballs with black pupils in the center. <laughs> now let's see you explain them, Mr. Fry. <laughs> As a species, if people would refuse to believe in things that they couldn't actually do themselves. <laughs> <laughs> so true. Yeah, no. So true. I think they are talking about you. And now, I give you, the idiot expert Twatty's obsession, the one-legged astronaut. No, I am not kidding. Apollo 14, the astronaut in there, only had one leg. <laughs> and here he is. Take a look at him. There you are, folks. Look at this astronaut here. It's mostly Alan Shepard. AS 14 68 9405. Hey, I have the high definition original of that one, too. Let us see that that does when I zoom in on the so called missing leg. Well, what do you know? There is the other foot. Alan Shepard has two legs after all. To use Taffy's own words, when you prove one photo to be fake, you prove them all fake. And I think I have proven, all of Taffy's evidence photos have been deliberately faked by expert Taffy himself. Why would someone do something like this? I have no idea, perhaps he wants the attention? Well almost everyone he knows hates his guts, so he is doing a piss poor job in that. For the ones who don't know yet, this is Shithead Taffy. He is a vile old man, who left his family for a Thai bride and lives in Thailand now, he calls people who believe the Apollo landings were real, mentally insane assholes. What Taffy doesn't get, is that he is the problem instead of the whole world around him. Hi there folks, welcome to a first of many many videos by the brilliant expat Taffy showing the lies and the insanity of this English coward. Only 12 seconds in, and it already starts. This man just has no manners, at all. Here. Yes, here he is folks. The YouTuber, normally known as Brian Pop Robson, I've now flushed him out to show his face and reveal his true identity. So you flushed him out, really? You must have a terrible high opinion of yourself to make such a bold statement. If you hadn't blocked him, like the coward you are, you could have watched that Paul Patton revealed his name a long time ago. 20 seconds into your video and you are beginning to dox a man only because he called you out on your lies and bullshit. And I'm going to show you what a liar and an insane idiot this 
guy here is. His name is Paul Patton from England. And he's a shame on the people of England. Hello there. I thought I'd do a little video this morning. Yes, and about time too, Patton. <laughs> this is going to be fantastic. About the cowardice of expat Taffy. Ha, huh, the cowardice of expat Taffy, is it? Paul Patton definitely has a point there. You are a coward. Under your videos, you delete all comments of the ones that point out of your bullshit and then you block them. You must be very scared of being told the truth. This sounds like the acts of a coward, all right. Oh, Patton? Now, get your facts right. How long have I been challenging you to a live debate? Two years now, Patton. It's taken you two years to crawl out of your shell. <laughs> um, again, I'm showing my face. Patty. Um... Yes, and about time too, Patton. How many times have I done that? Show my face? It seems, way too many times by now. Introduce myself as William Swithin, and use my own voice. How many times have I done that, Patton? And how many times have I challenged you to do it? It's taken you a long time to do it, hasn't it? It's taken you two years now. <laughs> oh, my God. When will you get it through your thick Neanderthal skull that people use different names or an avatar to represent them on YouTube to protect their real life identity for insane pieces of garbage like you that without any remorse will totally ruin the life of a critic all to silence them. He said his only criteria for him doing a live unrecorded broadcast with me. Uh, hold it Patton, you're a liar again. Take a look at my headline page and my challenge. It states on there a recorded debate. You were the only one who didn't want a recorded debate with Randy or me. You were the only one who didn't want a recorded debate, Patton. Nobody wants a recorded debate with you. And especially when you are the one who does the recording. You just cannot be trusted with such a recording, because you will edit it to your advantage. Like you do with all your so-called evidence. I want a recorded debate, so I can show the people of England what a stupid idiot you are. Take a look at my title page here. Here you are, Paul Patton. My challenge. Is there any Apollo believer willing to face me in a live recorded debate to discuss the authenticity of the photos claimed to be taken on the moon? There you are, Patton. I've always insisted on a live recorded debate. Yes, and we all know why, right? So that's another lie you've got. Perhaps we should do a video on your own lies, except that would be a video so long and boring that no one will take the time to watch it. was for me to show my face, say my name, Paul Patton, here we are. <laughs> yes, wonderful Patton, here we are again. You've shown your face now, you've introduced yourself. How many times have I asked you to do that? Shit, this is getting boring also. Can't you just stop repeating yourself every 15 seconds? How many times have I asked you to do that? It looks like... All the times I've been calling you a coward and proving that you were the coward, it's dragged you out of your shell. <laughs> this is going to be wonderful. No more crying to YouTube. Oh, he's showing my photo. Oh, he's mentioning my name. That's out now, Patton. It's now just you and me. And I'm going to have a lot of fun with this. A lot of fun. You're going to look a right arsehole amongst your fellow Englishmen. <laughs> Mark my words. Only the lowest of low lowlifes will do what you are doing. You must be a real sociopath. Because you think this is justified. Here is the definition. Antisocial personality disorder is a personality disorder. Characterized by a pattern of disregard for, or violation of, the rights of others. A weak or non-existent conscience is often apparent, as well as a history of impulsive and aggressive behavior. You absolutely have no problem with ruining other people's lives because you hate them for disagreeing with your delusional ideas. Just look at yourself in the mirror, you have all the traits of being a sociopath. It 
It's when we're just you on the screen, running your video, and all I can do is comment. And we know what happens to them comments. You'll be disallowing them or deleting them. That is not the way to have a debate. Really? I remember you saying something different to Dead Kennedy in space. I have it right here. He's going to do a video on me. I said, carry on, do a video on me. I'll respond to it. And that's what this video is about. So let's take a look at some of his video here, shall we? This works slow, but it is still a debate. What people in the comments section say is totally irrelevant. I offered you to debate you this way, but obviously you are way too scared to debate a 14-year-old anime girl, seeing that you blocked me straight away. My debate pattern is you and me on the screen. Half the screen you, half the screen me, and both talking to each other on the spot, and none of your cronies commenting. No comments needed, just voice to voice you and me. I ask you a question, you give me an answer. And that would be recorded, and that would be played to anybody in the future. And this is not a debate, it is recording a video call that you can edit in your advantage. Watching your appalling fabricated blurred so-called evidence is a strong indication that you will do exactly this. A debate is two people on opposite sides showing their best arguments to convince the audience in the room. And they decide who has won. But you are afraid of this sort of debate because there is no chance in hell that you will win it as the fraud you are. That's the recorded live debate I want pattern. You and me. Not me facing you and ten of your shills. And even playing field, you and me. You bloody moron. That is how a public debate works, and why there always is a moderator to make sure both sides abide to the rules and that they get even time to speak. But this is not what you want, because you know that insulting your opponent will get you to lose the debate by default. You only want to have it your way, to fraud and cheat on the results, don't you twatty? But you won't do that happen, will you? Never mind, you can do what you like, and I'll keep doing what I like, because now, I've got your face, I've got your voice, I've got your name. Wow, this sounds like a threat, even in Thailand this must be illegal. And I'm gonna make you look a right crap. This makes no difference, it is a threat to destroy some person's life. And here you show the insanity of a nasty and vile old man with the delusion that he has the right to destroy all his critics. This is your real face. The insane, expat taffy, that is what you are. A pink flamingo? And the rock with the face on it. Really? The flamingo? That is the most insane, so-called, piece of evidence you can offer. And the rock that slightly resembles a face. Sure, it looks a little like it has facial features, but it is still a rack. You can find these things anywhere, and possibly the entire universe, it is just what your delusional brain wants to see in it. And it proves, nor disproves anything. Or pattern? The reason you won't agree to my live debate is because you can't pass a comment without derogatory remarks and insults and character defamation. Wow, stop it right there. Here comes the moment where you should have a serious look in the mirror. Where it comes to insulting and defaming people you, the self-proclaimed brilliant, expat taffy you are in the top 10 of most vile and disgusting YouTubers. Do you remember this? And how about this? The biggest collection of vile insinuations and derogative insults I have ever seen in any channel video list. And this was yours, before you removed them all a while ago. But as you can see, I still have them. That's why I launched the video Stop the Hate on YouTube. Try to get amicable discussions between each other without the insults. But exactly. And according to your own standards, you don't belong on YouTube. You are the worst of the worst. When you defame the characters of other people, you think that is totally fine. But when someone calls you out on your bullshit you cry bloody murder. 
You are a disgusting little man, and this is the last time I pay any attention to you. I advise everyone to do the same, ignore this piece of shit. Just don't give him any attention, most important of all, don't go in discussion with him, not in a debate, not in the comments of his videos. Not even his fellow moon landing conspiracy believers, like him. That is the way to show this vile insulting fraud the utter contempt he deserves. Thank you for watching. Hi folks, only the brilliant expat happy.